So hi guys, on today's podcast and live stream, I'm speaking to a man who is currently running 45 kilometers per day, every day for charity. So Ghani Sully, Sulimani, have I pronounced your name correctly? Yeah, yeah, Sulimani. <laughs> Sulimani. Ghani Sulimani, he's an expat who lives in the UAE and he's currently getting up every single morning at 2 a.m. or around about that time to run 45 kilometers all this before he goes to work and it's all for a cause that is very close to his heart so really excited to be speaking to him today after his 45k run this morning so welcome to the podcast Thank and you so much. the live stream today Ghani. Thank you so much I'm so happy thank you for having me is uh, is my honor <laughs> Oh, thank you for agreeing to come on. Um, today we're on, or you're on, 27, is that right? Uh, today's 26, number 26. 26, okay. Yeah. What are you grateful for on day 26? Should I get? What are you grateful for on day 26? Uh, today was uh, awesome. Uh, I've got uh, some great people uh, joining me today which was very 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 uh, good uh, i have the full house of uh, br who was uh, in the house today and some of the love in dubai also was around with me and one of my great legend uh, at smart who he also who was uh, with me so it was great day I loved it and uh, I want to say thank you to them for joining me today. Awesome. Give us a little bit of background, Ghani, into what you're doing, into the challenge and what motivated you to embark on such a courageous um, feat. Uh, first of all, um, I love sports and uh, I'm uh, a coach at... Uh, it was of hope so is uh, a non-profit organization where we promote uh, the inclusion of uh, people of determination into sports so i train them i'm a coach there uh, me and uh, some of other coaches so that's uh, uh, training them all the time and being with them all the time uh, it really touched my heart and uh, I like every single minute that I spent uh, in uh, in my life. Like uh, I don't want to take it for granted. Uh, then uh, this uh, Dubai Fitness uh, Challenge, I just say, okay, uh, I want to do something uh, great with uh, the gift that God has given me. Because uh, like I always want to help them. I always want to help uh, everyone around me. Okay, I said, okay, if I don't have the means the financially to help them, why not use this, my ability to run, to raise funds for those kids? So that's the idea of uh, uh, running 45 kilometers for this Dubai Fitness Challenge. Just came in my mind. I said, okay, let me do it and raise funds for them. Because I know awesome. they need Awesome. Um, what difference does sport make to the lives? of these children? Uh, it does a lot. It does a lot of things. Yeah, like uh, we used to say, through sport, we can change a lot of lives. Uh, it opens up, like, uh, it helps them with their anxiety. It helps them, like, uh, be open to the world, open to the society. To uh, so, Some of them were not able to be in a group of even two, but now, they, they can be in a group of 10, uh, they can speak, they feel comfortable with people, they feel comfortable, like they are healthy all the time because we, we train them, we allow them to run, and we even have one of them by the name with Suleiman also, who did 100 kilometer uh, in six weeks, you know, so it's a great achievement, uh, and uh, most of them, when we are training them in some gyms, 
they do amazing work. Some are lifting, some are running, some are doing uh, the track session. Like today we have track, uh, track session at Sport City and they are doing amazing, amazing. Though. So sport has helped them a lot. It helped them for their anxiety, it helped them open their mind, it helped them to be open to the, 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 the outside world, the real world. Uh, and uh, it changed a lot of, of their life, yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Will any of them be joining you on your, or have they joined you, or will they be joining you on your last few runs of the challenge? Sure, sure. If, like, like I said, uh, today I will be with them. Uh, on uh, last week, we did 24 hours fitness. Also, me and uh, the other coaches to raise uh, more funds for them. And they were there. And I want to use the opportunity also to say thank you to all the parents who came also along uh, with their kids uh, to participate to uh, our workouts. And the, all the heroes of hope, they, are, they were there. Each name, each one has his own workout. So we use each one of their names to do some workout for 24 hours. And they were there. Uh, I'll post many of the uh, the videos of them doing the workout. You will see it. You can check uh, just on my page or on my Facebook. You will see them doing the workout. Uh, they are there with me, and we run also. And today also at Sports City, six uh, to seven uh, p.m. I will be running with them. And on uh, for the Dubai run, also I have a run with them at Kite Beach uh, at uh, uh, in the morning. I'll be running with them. I will do my Dubai run with them. And the last day also, I will, uh, at Kite Beach, they will be with me also uh, running. Awesome. So I will get to meet them because I'm going to run with you on yeah. Saturday. <laughs> so that will be amazing. I'm also staying in Sports City at the moment. I'd oh, love man. to come and join you guys. Yeah, 6 to 7 p.m. today. You can come. Yeah, I will come today. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, Whereabouts <laughs> are you in Sports City? Uh, on the track, you will see us on the track. Yeah, I can, <laughs> I can see it from the balcony, from my balcony. Uh, oh, uh, it's yeah. Absolutely, yes, yeah, I can see the track. So how much, obviously, yeah, it's a very wonderful um, charity, a very worthwhile cause that you're you're running for. And the whole purpose is to raise funds for the cause. And, and I believe that so far you've raised a substantial amount of money. And do you have a, a goal? Do you have an aim in mind, a, a target target goal? Uh, like, like we don't, uh, we, do, we, we, do not, we do not have a fixed amount. It's a, a free donation. Like we don't force anyone to donate, but we, we love, we, are, we love and appreciate and, uh, everyone who has been donating so uh so far i can say we have raised uh, some good money and uh we still uh, leave the, the the link of the donation in our page uh, and, and our bios uh, on instagram and uh, uh spot uh, or uh, hope us uh, spot we you, you, uh, you can find the link there or you can go to arrows of hope link also uh, you will find a link there also to donate so it's still open anyone can donate uh, at any time they want like we do not fix a, a a certain amount that we want to achieve is an open and we uh, we appreciate anyone that uh, uh, wants to donate excellent for anyone listening to this i will also leave the link in the comments section as well just yeah. to make it easy for you um, and like Barney said, you know, there's no pressure and every little helps here. A little does go wow. a long way. So, you know, and uh, a little makes a lot as well. So if a lot yeah. of people donate, even if it's yeah. just a small amount, then, yeah. you know, that can accumulate. That's yeah. awesome. OK, well, it's so inspiring what, what you're doing. I mean, thank you for giving us a little bit of background on that. Can you walk us through like your preparation? what you did to prepare you for this, for this challenge? Uh, <laughs> oh, for the preparation, uh, I can say, um, I really, uh, like I just do things when they just 
come into my mind. Like I don't like. Uh, do, I thought uh, you were going to say that. <laughs> 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 so, how many days before you started the challenge did you decide you were going to do it? Oh, uh, it's like uh, uh, I was talking to uh, one of the best uh, coach, uh, Lee Harris. We were just after our session, uh, BR session, we were just sitting there and uh, it just came uh, in our conversation and uh, I was like, uh, why if, uh, why not just uh, just do this? I want to do this. And then uh, he was like, uh, how many days uh, do we have to do this? I was like, uh, three to four days. He said, no, you can't do something like that. You have to prepare yourself or you have to train for it. And I was like, uh, I just want to do it. <laughs> he said, but you need uh, to train for for you to be able to do so, uh, such thing. You need to have some training. And I said, I don't, I just do it. I, I, I like, uh, I never trained for anything. If it just come to my mind to do it, I just go and do it. That's all. And so three days uh, before, or, yeah, three to four days before the challenge started, we were sitting and just talking about it. And uh, because we were sitting close to where they were building the the Cat Beach uh, uh, village, so we were so we were discussing, and it just came in into our discussion, and I said I would do it. <laughs> awesome, awesome! And how has Lee been helping you? Because I know Lee is quite an oh, an esteemed uh, running coach um, in the Middle East, and yeah, he trains. Doctor. <laughs> he trains some fantastic athletes here and he yeah. really knows the stuff. How has he helped you with yeah. um with your training and the technical aspects? Yeah, he's he, he's uh his advice and training, the drills helps me a lot. Like I practice the drills uh, that we used to teach also to uh, our uh, people that uh, come to train with us. Those drills really help me. Like uh, I'm doing 45 for every day today is number six uh, not even one single day uh, uh, i had pain on my calf or anywhere and i i'm safe i alhamdulillah i thank uh, the almighty allah first and the the profit uh, of those uh, drill and practicing it them all the time and applying it also when i'm running the they kept me uh, uh, safe till uh, date and his advice uh, how how I'm going to rest, how I'm going to eat, everything I'm putting it in practice. And uh, Alhamdulillah, I'm good. Uh, I'm good. He, his help has been uh, a big uh, uh, impact uh, for me to be able to do this till date. Excellent. That's great. I met you yesterday, which was day 25. Yeah. And as now, as then, as now and then, I don't know if I said that right, right, right. You had a huge, big smile on your face and you just yeah. completed 45 kilometers. What keeps you smiling when you're feeling so tired and so exhausted and kind of physically and maybe mentally run down? What keeps that smile on your face? Yeah, uh, I would say to Darren, the donation does... Uh, all the people are doing, that's what keeps me smiling because when Al Jazeera uh, will send me the numbers like oh see what uh, people have been donating uh, that's that is uh, like uh, I feel like I have achieved my goal uh, keep me smiling it motivates me to keep the going until the end of the challenge the all the donation people have been doing that's what is putting the smile in my face and giving me more motivation to go. awesome and that's incredible and let's not um, I mean, you've actually raised seven thousand dollars so far. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, uh, the last time I I, uh, I checked uh, when Al Jazeera posted it, it was like uh, close to seven thousand. Yeah. 7, okay. 000. Excellent. Yeah. So hopefully, hopefully, when you finish, we'll pass that. You'll pass that ten k mark. Inshallah. Um, inshallah. inshallah. Yeah. God willing. So. Yeah. Okay. God willing. Let's Ghani, let's explore the relationship relationship between ultra running and mental health. Yeah. Um, this is an area that I'm very interested in because, you know, I've done a lot of endurance myself in the yeah. past. Yeah. You know, I've always thought that 
ultra running it's a very raw sport in that it it essentially it peels off all the layers yeah and it's it's very difficult to hide during endurance during a long run because I just feel that it really reveals any challenging situation it reveals the truth in a person's character um because essentially you, it's almost like you just stripped bare what are your thoughts on this and what challenges have you experienced mentally throughout these runs and was it easier at the beginning and mentally as it got harder as it as it goes on um yeah some days some days uh is hard it's hard like you said <laughs> you also you are uh ultra marathoner so you know what it is uh some some days are hard some days are i guess easy but uh mentally i'm always prepared for it the um, the only thing that's making it uh, a little bit hard is just like mixing it with work and uh sometimes when you are running also the whole body won't let you down so now you have to fight back with your mental toughness and uh to keep going so like i always tell people uh, people always say uh ultra marathon uh will make you better at life but me i always say the opposite <laughs> I, I i always say opposite i always say uh the difficulty of life or the difficulty like you, you have been going many things that you have been going through will make you a better ultra marathon runner yeah the people don't understand it so i explain it like uh like uh, in life maybe you have been, been touched with uh, some many obstacles in your life and you do not give up right you do not give up and uh, you, you keep fighting for your life uh, you are still where you are and you are getting where you want to go it's just the same thing i apply uh, when i'm doing my ultra marathon runner when it gets hard i just tell myself okay i have been going uh, i have been going through this and i do not quit uh, i'm here today if I could have done that, uh, then I can finish also this race. I, I can do so. I, I I just put whatever happened to uh, in the real life into the ultra marathon runner. So it plays in my uh, head. Or, uh, also, it helps me to keep my my uh, mental straight, like uh, to be able to make uh, the right decision uh, on sometimes of uh, diversity. So like always make the right decision so it plays in your mind and uh, like you go back to your life main things that has been happening to you mm. and uh, you you do not quit you do not uh, let yourself down you do not uh, just go back and sit somewhere and say okay it's not happening i'm not going to do it i'm not going to force myself but you keep going you keep forcing you keep working hard so that's the mental uh, uh, the mental uh, aspect for me. I always apply uh, like everything that's happened to me in my life into the running. So that mm. it will like you good, no matter how it gets. When you're experiencing that pain and, and the really kind of tough times, it's crazy what thoughts come into your head, isn't yeah. it? Do you get do you get them as well? Because I, I yeah, used to I get that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> I do. Uh, so, do you what, have what I just do, and uh, I laugh when all those things come to my head. I just, I just laugh. Yeah, I just, I just keep laughing alone. Mm. <laughs> like I, like, like I said before, running is like a meditation for me. Yeah, I don't mm. want to come to it. Yeah, yeah. And running is also, um, it's, it's. It's a sport that brings a lot of solitude, long distance running, you know, and, yeah. and I think in order to be, to do a lot of endurance and to do a lot of long distance running, in a way, you need to be quite comfortable with yourself and with being on your own because, on your own. Um, 
I wouldn't say it was lonely. I don't know. Do you ever get lonely when you run? But it's, for me, it was, I mean, I often used to run without earphones, without music. So yeah. can you, because I really enjoyed, I could run, go on a long run with just me and my thoughts and just, yeah, thought- you know, um, but yeah, the solitude is kind of, I don't know if I'm kind of explaining this correctly um but it is it's a sport that i think you have to be quite comfortable with being on your own and being by yourself because you know you you obviously spending a lot of time just kind of plodding on that tarmac yeah you know already that is going to be uncomfortable before you before you even start you know that is going to be uncomfortable so you need to be comfortable of being in the uncomfortable uh, 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 period because be- yeah. before you even start you know it is going to be hard mm. so uh, when you know like that so it's easy to keep going it's, it's, mm. yeah. and i think if you enjoy solitude if you enjoy those moments of peace those extended periods on your own then endurance is endurance running it's you know it's it's kind of like it's good for that yeah yeah Yeah. um okay do you have any specific mindset strategies when you were running to get through I mean I guess you've just alluded to one of them but you know when you get those thoughts and that mental chatter in your mind when you're running do you have any specific strategies to overcome those uh the strategy like like I just said before, you laugh. Let, yeah, you laugh. At, yeah, that's great. I like that one actually. I don't like. Uh, uh, I don't allow. Like I always control uh, my body. Like I mm. don't want the body to take over my mind. So if I can control my mind, then uh, my body will just follow. Also, a good way to break your thought pattern okay. is just yeah. to say next thought. And this is something, I'm not pronouncing his name. I know it's such a simple strategy. It's a strategy used by Eckhart Toil. I'm not sure I've pronounced his name correctly, but it interrupts your thoughts, you know, and next thought, and it just kind of interrupts it, and it kind of like breaks that pattern and just get you onto something else. Yeah. Uh, me, I always uh, use uh, uh, David Gagan. David Gagan, where he said he has to create the, the cookie jars, you know, mm-hmm. yeah, that's what that's the the, the strategy I use. Like, Tell me I, about I, this. I I don't know that. Yeah, I know you you David Goggins. Yeah, that's... yeah, yeah, yeah. David Goggins is uh, an ultra uh, a, a marathon runner. He has done a lot of uh, crazy stuff. So, uh, like, he has his book uh, called uh, "You Can't Hurt Me." So I I listen to it all the time, all the time. Even even if on the YouTube, I listen to all of his uh, broadcasts, his stories. I watch his. Uh, uh, inspiration He's awesome. Uh, I love Goggins. Tell us about the cookie jar, though. What, what's the cookie yeah, the, jar? I've never heard of that. Oh really? <laughs> no, the the cookie jar is uh, all the obstacles that he has uh, been facing since he was kids. Uh, so he, he creates them like uh, he put them all together and uh, he call it a, a cookie jar. Like he said, okay, I was beaten by my uh, father. Uh, my dad wasn't there with uh, uh, for me. Uh, many people have been betraying my life to kill me. He has been calling. Uh, he, he has been called. Uh, a black nigger because where he was living is he was uh, the only black man uh, around that uh, the area so he created all those difficulty and uh, all those uh, parts of his life that he has been going through those tough 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 time he created something and he called it a, a, a cookie jar so when he's uh, outside running all those uh, ultras so when everything start getting hard the body like don't want to keep going so he starts taking them one by one i have been going through this 
then I can go through this. If I have been going through this, then I can go this. Then he called mm. all those difficulties the cookie jar. Awesome. I love that technique. <laughs> That's, um, yeah, it's kind of like you're using your resources within you. So you're yeah. using like your past pains yeah. and your past difficulties to get that. That's a technique that I've yeah. used a lot in the past when I used oh, to yeah. work a lot with, with, with children. Ah, My background okay. is in social work. So I used to work a lot with um, uh, children with very complex needs and yeah. quite often, you know, I would use that strategy a lot. You know, I'd be like, yeah. you know, look, this has happened in your life. This has happened. You know, if you can get through that, exactly. you can get through this. You can achieve whatever you set your mind to and whatever you want to. Okay. Just use the resources deep yeah. inside you. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, let's move on to kind of some of the technical stuff in terms of like your nutrition. Like how many calories are you burning per day during a run? Yeah, during run? the run, <laughs> I can say I burn more than uh, 4,000 calories. Wow. Yeah. So how many calories are you consuming? Yeah, oh, I just make sure I have uh, in a day when I finish because... I have a problem eating. <laughs> That's the only problem I, I'm having. I don't know how to eat uh, too much, but I'll make sure I at least I get at least the half day, like 2,000 calorie back in before the next day. When you say you're having a problem eating, is this just something that's happened now or is it you, you're just not a big eater anyway? Yeah, I'm uh, uh, like, I used to eat once in a day, like... Uh, I'm not, I don't eat too much like this. I just, once mm. I eat once in a day, uh, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I just like uh, playing around with uh, the biscuits, the bread, and uh, I'm good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you lost any weight? Yeah, I, I did. I did. <laughs> I weigh myself all the time. Uh, I think when I started, I, I was uh, 71. Uh, and uh, the last time I, I checked, uh, I was uh, almost uh, 66. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I lost almost four, uh, four to five. Yeah. yeah to be fair, so, though, yeah, that's so not a massive. That, that that's, I lost weight. <laughs> that's not a massive amount, is it? 45 yeah, yeah, kg, yeah. considering yeah. like you're burning 4,000 and you're, you're consuming about, about 2,000. Yeah. Um, what sorry i heard something in the background there uh, what are the yeah. positive aspects of running for you personally for you personally for you, for your mental health um like what uh, what do you say what are the positive aspects of running for you personally for your mental health uh it keep uh it keeps my mind clear and it keeps me uh it, it always keeps me focused on where i want to go it always directed me to my goals like uh i always write, uh, write things down and uh and sometimes before i even uh, go for a run i read them for myself to myself i read them uh, and when i'm going it flash back everything that I have read. So it keeps me focused and uh, like, okay, this is where I want to go. And what I need to do, where I have things, uh, things I need to get to get where I need to go. So I just work on that, yeah. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much for your time today. <laughs> And um, it's been absolutely wonderful talking to you and getting a little bit of an insight into your motivation behind this challenge. Thank and so um, yeah, I will be rooting for you um, during these last few days. And I look yeah. forward to running with you on your final day. Sure and um, yeah, that's awesome. And just keep going, keep pushing yeah. through, keep yeah. going, um, one foot in front of the other and just yeah. dig, dig deep, dig deep. Yeah. And more importantly, keep smiling. 
Yeah, thank you so much. It's thank very you. infectious. And just thank you. Thank you for raising the awareness to such um, an amazing charity. I'd never heard of that before. Uh, so, and I look forward, I am actually going to join you today, if that's yeah, okay. I'm really, really looking forward. Really happy to see you today. Oh, I'm really looking forward to that. It fills my yeah. heart with a lot of joy. Yeah, really looking forward to that. But yeah, thank you so much uh, for your time today, Garni. Yeah. I'm going to so end the live stream that now. Thank you, everyone, for listening. If you would like to donate, then I will post the link in the comments below. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. And uh, thank you for everyone who has been donating. And uh, thank you to everyone who, who also is going to donate for the next few days. I appreciate you all.